Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. My name is John Nathan Awara. Welcome to this segment of Embrace. For the past few weeks, we've been talking parenting children. As we bring that series to a close, we'll be looking at family because we cannot talk parenting without discussing family because parenting happens in families. I want to make this bold statement like we made when we we're starting and defining parenting. Family starts in God and ends in God. Family starts with God and ends with God. Without God, you'll never achieve the right purpose for marriage or for family. So let's talk family. What is family? The dictionaries or the world defines family as the smallest unit of society. The smallest unit of society. According to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, 28, which we read when we're starting this series, God's plan is that a man marries one woman, one woman, and the two become one, so they can produce children and build a good home. They build a good home. Man, one, woman, one, come together, then build a home. However, these days, Many people have destroyed this wonderful plan of God. They have their own ideas of what family is. God's plan was that husband and wife come together, or man and woman, not boy and girl, man and woman. People who are responsible. If you want to know what responsibility is, go to the previous video. We shared about roles and responsibilities. You will know what it takes to be responsible in a home. So how does God's ideal family start? What was, how did God's ideal family start? It started in Genesis chapter two, verse 18, 25. It started with a man leaving his mother and father and joining together with his wife and then becoming one. That is marriage. So the man leaves his father and mother, joins together with his wife and the two become one. That's what we call marriage, man, woman, not your idea of what marriage should be. So God's idea of marriage is man, woman, joined together. Then a family starts. So a family starts when a man and a woman join together. That is when family starts. That's God's original plan. But today there are many different types of families and I want to share. There's a nuclear family. A nuclear family is where there's a father, there's a mother, and their biological children. Children born by the father and the mother. The husband and wife come together and they produce children. They call that a nuclear family. Then we have an extended family. An extended family has the nuclear family, and then it has other relatives. It has a father, mother, biological children. It has grandfather, grandmother, etc. All living together. Now, this two were God's original plan for family. That there would be a nuclear family and there would be an extended family. But because of sin and man's disobedience, there are other different types of families. There are foster families. This is where a child is adopted or put into a foster care. Then we have child-headed family where the father dies or the mother dies and the child becomes the head of the family. That is not God's original plan for family. God's original plan for family was nuclear and extended. And there are different kinds of family. There's also a single parent headed family where the only, either there's one parent, either mother only taking care of the family or there's only a father. Now remember, these all came up after the fall, after the disobedience of Adam and Eve. But God's original plan was that Adam, that man and woman together produce children. Then we have grandparents. Then we have uncles and aunties, and they live peacefully in a community. That was God's original plan. Now, what are some of the dangers to God's plan for family? We'll look at this in the next episode. God bless you so much. Thank you for watching. If you missed any of the videos, like this channel and ensure that you follow us. 
God bless you so much and bye bye.